Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be solving Cambridge IGCSC Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 for May June 2024, Variant 2. I'm going to do the presentation task, which is the task 5 in this paper. Create a presentation of six slides using study.rtf. So for the presentation, I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint. Open a blank presentation. On home tab, you have new slide. In order to import the file, go to new slide, slides from outline. And let's select the folder. And you need to import the study file here. Insert. There will be a blank slide here. Remove that. Now we have six slides here. All slides must display a title and a bulleted list. Next, use a master slide to display only the following features. So let's create the master slide. So go to view, slide master. To set the master slide, make sure the topmost slide, which is numbered as one here, is selected otherwise it will not be affected for all the layouts we need to make changes here these text boxes let's these three text boxes let's delete we'll insert it as and when required we need to add a thick three to four point black horizontal line across the full width of the slide Position this line above the slide title and 3 cm from the top. Make sure the line does not overlap any slide data. So let's reduce the width of this. We need to add a horizontal line. Let's view the ruler here. It should be about 3 centimeters from the top. So almost here. We need to add the line. Insert shapes, choose line. Press shift and draw the line so that it will be straight. Click on shape outline, select black color. Again, go to weight and make sure it is three point. Above the line, enter the text organic crop farming in 32 point black font aligned to the top right. So insert a text box here. Add the text organic crop farming. It should be 32 point black phone aligned to the top right. So make sure it is towards the right and make it right aligned. So that is done. Automatic slide numbers on the Top left. Top left. So again, insert a text box. You can see a cursor inside the text box. Again, go to insert 
slide number. This is slide number, the hash, or it will be written slide number. So the slide number is shown here. Your name, sender number, and candidate number. We can insert it anywhere. There is no position specified. So let's give it here on the bottom left. Give your name, sender number, and candidate number. So the master slide is ready. Now let's go back to the normal view. Click on view, normal. Use the data in area.csv to create a vertical bar chart. So this is the chart. This must compare the size of organic farmland by region for only the years 2013 and 2023. So by region, only for 2013 and 2023. So select these three columns. Don't select this data because it will be taken as values. The years will be taken as values. So just select these two. Now insert vertical bar chart. It should show the regions. It should show the regions on the category axis. So you can see the region is shown here. The values on the value axis and a legend showing the years. So values are shown here. Legend should be years. So we need to edit the legend. So click on this legend, right click, select data. Now select series, edit. You can give 2013, give OK. Series 2, edit 2023, give OK. So now the legend shows the year here. Label the chart with a title Regional Distribution of Organic Farmland. So this is the chart title. Regional distribution of organic farmland. The value axis title must be million hectares. So add the axis title. Click here. Click on this plus sign. Insert axis title. And for this, we have to give, sorry. For the value axis, you have to give million hectares. So this is the value axis. This is the region. Display only the data values above each bar. Format all the data labels to display one decimal place. So on each bar, we have to show the data labels. So select, first select this one for 2023. Give data labels. Same way, data labels here. Now we have to set it as one decimal place. So go to data labels, more options. You have number here, a number, number, select number and one decimal place. Same way for this one also. You have to select number and one decimal place. 
So the values are shown in one decimal place. Format the value axis to display minimum value of 0, maximum 42 and increments of 7. So select the axis. Select the axis, right click, format axis. So you will get the minimum maximum value, give 0 and maximum should be 42 and the major, that is the increment, make it 7. So the chart is ready. Place the chart to the left of the bullets on the slide with global statistics. So copy the chart. We have a slide with title global statistics. We have to place it to the left. So move the bullet points to the right. Paste the chart here. Make sure no make sure no words are split, all data and labels are vis fully visible and the chart and its contents do not overlap. So this is fine. Next, add the following text as presenter notes to the slide with the title Global Statistics. So this is the text we have to add. So it should be added as presenter notes on uh, the slide with the title Global Statistics. That means the same one. You have notes here. You can click on notes. Click to add notes. You can add the notes here. You can type the notes here. Print only the slide as presenter speaker notes. So we have to print this as presenter notes. So this is slide 2. So go to file, print. When you are printing, you need to make sure you select this option, notes pages. So if you click on notes pages, the notes will be shown here. And the slide number you have to specify so that only that slide will be printed. And it's better to give your name in the header or footer. So go to edit header and footer in the header, name and your candidate details. So it will appear on the header. This is for examination purpose. So this will be printed. Next, print all slides in portrait orientation with six slides to the page. So, in order to print that, go to File, Print. Make sure six slides are selected here. Do not specify any slide number. And it is portrait. So, all the slides will be printed as six slides on one page. So this is the end of the presentation task. The other tasks are done and the links are provided in the description. Thank you for now.